What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video here today on the channel that feels so good to say with full certainty and confidence. I'm still super hyped about today's earlier reveal and in this one we're continuing a little bit of a topic of discussion that's kind of stemmed off of this as a result. So what we're going to be talking about in this one is Call of Duty World War II and the DLC exclusivity. Who gets it? Is there going to be any exclusivity at all? And what this means then for gamers and fans alike. So firstly, let's talk about exclusivity in a general perspective. Usually when you think of the term exclusive, you think about games that only come to certain consoles, things like that. But for the sake of DLC exclusivity, it's a little bit different. And we've seen it in the DLC model within Call of Duty and many other games for years now at this point, but previously it was something that Call of Duty had Xbox One and 360 exclusivity for quite some time, and then starting with Black Ops 3, PlayStation got the exclusivity rights for DLC, so therefore DLC is still 30 days early on PlayStation 4, then 30 days later Xbox One and PC users get it now, and then things like also Modern Warfare Mastered had the campaign accessible by 30 days earlier than a launch, so that kind of thing is obviously what a lot of people really care about. And where this whole thing comes from is from a first tweet that Xbox tweeted out beating PlayStation to the punch talking about Call of Duty World War II. So I personally didn't think too much of this, but a lot of people started tweeting me. I saw it over on Reddit a little bit more. I saw it on YouTube comments, things like that, where people kind of took this as, well, what if Xbox has the exclusivity rights? Because they're kind of beating them into the punch now. They're talking about it more so on their platform than PlayStation is on theirs. So this kind of brings up the topic of maybe Xbox has it, but that's actually not the case. Firstly, let's talk about the maybe legal implications here with this. Behind the scenes, there's a lot of stuff that goes on with the framework of business deals for each console, and that's kind of the main proprietary reason as to why these deals are in place anyways. Microsoft and Xbox previously paid Activision for the rights for this kind of stuff for DLC early. PlayStation and Sony are now doing that right now, so it's something that these deals are mainly revenue-based, and therefore, it's a simple business decision for games and game content to be released earlier on a specific system. Like it or not, that's just the way the business world goes, and as a business, the main goal is to churn revenue, so it makes sense, but these deals that are enacted are at least enacted for one console cycle. So therefore, Black Ops 3 was the first game of this cycle, and then it would continue with Infinite Warfare being the second, and the third of the cycle being Call of Duty World War II. Whether or not that actually gets extended on or if there's already a longer contract in place, that's something that we don't have public knowledge of just yet. But after this year is potentially when we could theoretically start to say maybe Xbox gets it back. Now, of course, a big factor of this is the player count and the player base. And right now, PlayStation 4 still has more units sold than Xbox One in this console life cycle. So it may very well continue on for an extension or an already longer contract at this point, so next year still could go to PlayStation 4. I'm not saying that it's going to go back to Xbox, but hopefully that kind of lays out some framework on how these deals are made. But also, if you want definitive evidence and definitive proof, if you actually end up going to Amazon UK, there is already a listing by Activision, the official Activision account with listings for Amazon. There's one for Call of Duty World War II, and it has the box art of Call of Duty World War II already embroidered with the PlayStation logo, and on the PlayStation case, it actually does have the 30-day exclusive demarcation that PlayStation exclusives get at this point in time. So while we do have the official box art confirmed with us, we also do have the fact that the exclusive PlayStation deals are still in place for this third year of that deal. And once again, whether or not it in fact ends up being longer and extended into the next console cycle, that's something that we'll be able to take a look at probably throughout the next year, but also more so right around this time next year, we'll know for sure. But all that said and out of the way, just a quick recap, PlayStation 4 is in fact getting DLC exclusivity once again with Call of Duty World War II. 30 days early, the map packs will be available. Potentially a beta once again will be earlier as well in the year as compared to when Xbox and PC gets it. That'll probably be a week later. For those of you guys that are on Xbox One and PC that were kind of hoping maybe it would shift backwards again, it's not the case this year, so regrettably, I do inform you about that, but 
all in all, that is where we stand right now. I want to let you guys know about this. Keep you guys updated with everything you need to know here regarding Call of Duty World War II because we got some awesome stuff coming up in the very near future and I'm super hyped to be able to bring it all to you guys. So that said, if you guys did enjoy, drop a like down below. Drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys a fan of console exclusivity or do you guys wish everything would be released all at once for everybody? I personally think that'd be awesome like that, but I guess that's why I'm not making the big bucks here for these business deals. But all in all, once again, drop a like down below if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're gonna be keeping you guys up to date with everything you need to know about Call of Duty World War II. The channel is gonna be covering a lot of stuff here in the next couple of days, so stick it right here if you guys are interested in any of that. And of course, if you guys wanna follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me here outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys wanna strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But thank you dudes so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Take care and peace.